Tonight's top cop game, televised right here on Charter TV3, was about more than just football. Auburn and Leicester are two towns Ron Tarantino served as a police officer. Tonight's game raising money for the Tarantino Fund and honoring his family. Tarantino's family and children were on the field before the game for the coin toss. Now afterwards, there was a touching moment as you see them go to midfield. But Ron Tarantino III, who is currently serving in the military, surprised his mom on the field. He is currently stationed at Fort Bragg in North Carolina. There he is, number 52, right there. He flew in to Massachusetts for the game tonight. Thousands packed Memorial Stadium for tonight's game. Our Catherine Andrioli was also there and has a look at the game and the reaction from the family. An emotional night for family and friends of fallen officer Ron Tarantino during a tribute Thursday night at Auburn High School. Can't thank everyone enough for the overwhelming support that we've had since uh, Ron got killed three months ago. Two communities rallied together as Auburn and Leicester kicked off the season with a top cop game dedicated to officer Ron Tarantino, who was shot and killed in the line of duty in May. Our husbands work on the police force, so we've been involved with how they've been getting things together and they're very excited about the turnout. The community is honoring officer Tarantino tonight with his badge number number 74 painted right here in the end zone. This was his number before he was killed in the line of duty. Tarantino's oldest son surprised his family by bringing out the game ball. He is enlisted in the U.S. Army and is currently stationed in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Officer Tarantino's wife gave an emotional thank you to the communities who put on a touching tribute and have supported their family. These communities have the biggest hearts of any communities I know. We are grateful to all of you for keeping his fun-loving spirit alive and by sharing in a time that represents everyone together. Coaches say the game is a way to bring two communities together to heal and also honor first responders like Officer Tarantino. And I think across America now you see sporting events kind of as a venue for a healing process. So I'm hoping this is part of that process for them. Our goal is just to perform with the passion and the emotion that would be respectful to Officer Tarantino and you know the first responders in general. In Auburn, Catherine Andrioli was